Here in the Test Kitchen, we're always looking for new ways to add flavor to different foods. Well, today on WTF, we're going to look at yogurt powder and how you can add that flavor to things like popsicles, curry, and even just on strawberries. Hello and welcome to WTF, where we transform food here in the Modernist Pantry Test Kitchen. I'm Chef Scott Guerin. And I'm Janie Wang, the owner of Modernist Pantry. So today Scott and I are going to be talking all about yogurt powder, which is kind of a funky little ingredient that, uh, that we have here in the store that you can do a few cool recipes with. Mm -hmm. So we want to share with you what it is, how do you use it, and of course Scott's got demos and demos to, uh, to show you exactly what you can do. Sure. Uh, yogurt powder is really cool because it can impart that yogurt creaminess, that flavor, uh, without having to worry about you know the separation that naturally happens with yogurt. Yeah, and is it is it a yogurt that we then reconstitute back into yogurt? Do we do that with it? I wouldn't suggest doing okay. that. Uh, the natural um, cultures are not there through the spray drying process, so mm -hmm. you wouldn't be able to take this and mix it into milk and okay. expect it to make more yogurt. But it just gives you that flavor of the yogurt. Uh, without having to actually add yogurt and add any moisture to your recipe. Yeah, and that's kind of cool because sometimes you just want, you know, you don't want to uh, add more of that goopy yogurt Yeah, you don't want to have to add sense. any more. And the best part is we're going to show this recipe first, and this is actually a, uh, a smoothie pop that is, all the moisture is 100% strawberry. So any liquid that comes from it is from the strawberry. So you're getting all of that, you know, nice strawberry flavor without having to add milk, without having to add any extra liquid. It's just the strawberries and then some of the milk powder, or I'm sorry, okay. some of the yogurt powder. Yeah, well, let's do that before uh, before I see you got some pops on the table before they melt. Yeah, so, <laughs> so yeah, so I'm gonna actually show you, uh, we have, we have the strawberries here. We add a little bit of honey for some sweetness to the strawberries. We have some of the yogurt powder, and then we have a little bit of the uh, perfect sorbet, which you can find uh, in one of our first episodes, uh, like episode 106, I believe it is. Uh, it's an ice cream stabilizer. We're, we're going to use this for uh, another use, which is you know popsicles. So very simply, I'm just going to put in the yogurt powder and just sprinkle it right in the center there. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to put in the honey. And then finally, the last ingredient is the perfect sorbet, which I will add in very easily. And then about 30 seconds to a minute in the blender, and we'll have a nice puree, which we can put into here, and we could freeze and make some really beautiful popsicles. So I'm going to get this going. Great, so I'm just going to pour it right into my container, which has a piping bag. You can pour it directly into your um, popsicle molds if you want to. I just like this because it's a little cleaner. Then what's nice about this is that you're really just getting fruit and yogurt, so there's no, uh, not a lot of extra in there. Yeah, it's just a little bit of the, the natural sugar from the honey, mm -hmm. which is better than having to add any granulated sugar. So I'm just going to snip this off and then Pour it right into our popsicle molds here. Do two of them. And then a little chunk, but that's good. And you know it's natural. Put it right back in here. Great. Put in the, the popsicle sticks. And through the magic of internet television, we have these here. Look at that. So, Yay. Jane, you want to, like a wishbone? Yeah. We'll just twist it. See how, oh, look at that. Perfect. So, Cheers. we have these really nice popsicles. Uh, and if you freeze them to the right temperature, and you can find out all that information in uh, episode 106, mm -hmm. which is our um, ice cream stabilizers episode, you can have some really beautiful popsicles without all those ice crystals that you're used to. Yes, and the links are in the description below, so you'll be able to find that. And this took, you know, hardly any time at all, so it's easy peasy. I couldn't wait to cheers you, so. Sorry. I just ate them. Great. So I'm going to actually save mm. this for later. It is really good, by the way. You're basically just getting 
a strawberry flavor with like a bit, little bit of that yogurt tang. Mm -hmm. You get a little bit of tang from the yogurt. You get a little bit of creaminess as well from that, uh, you know, the, the milk fat that's in there. So you get a, a really nice flavor, but it's all strawberry. So you get all those nutrients from the strawberry. We didn't have to mm. heat it or anything because the perfect sorbet does not need to be heated. Okay, perfect. So if you want to do your own, you can basically add it to any fruit puree. You're just adding a little bit of the yogurt. So it's very flexible that yes, way, right? Very flexible. Okay. And so flexible that we have this curry here and it's a nice lamb curry. And the last thing we did. I don't know where to put mine. I don't have a handy dandy plate underneath the table. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Uh, so this lamb curry and we make the, the beautiful curry and it has this really nice sauce, but we don't have to, we don't want to add too much yogurt to it because it really thins it out. Mm -hmm. And we liked it the way that we had it and it had these really intense flavors. So we actually added some of the yogurt powder to it right at the finish. Mm -hmm. And it was in uh, one of our episodes that we showed this off, but we didn't have a recipe for it yet. Okay. But it's great that uh, we're able to do it. And I believe that was the episode where we did the fomentations, the culinary acids episode, um, episode 145. Okay. So in there, you know, we put the nice, beautiful pickled mangoes over the top. We mix mm -hmm. in the uh, yogurt yogurt powder to just give it that nice creaminess right at the end and mm -hmm. actually you know mop up a little bit of that extra moisture so you get a stickier sauce and it works really great on here yeah when you add the yogurt powder to different dishes are there recommended ratios or is everything just to taste so it's to taste this is more of a flavoring okay. rather than uh, a recommended ratio you know mm -hmm. um, a functional ingredient okay. this is a flavoring you use it to how you like it mm -hmm. if uh, you think it could need more add more. It's not going to change the texture of it right. other than give it slightly you know, creamier texture. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to completely change your recipe if you add a little bit more. Yeah. So it seems like it can go into sweet and savory applications. And what is this over here, the last thing that you have? So this is the most simple way. If you wanted to put it on something, and actually this makes for a really nice little treat for kids, is if you take a strawberry and my mother used to put out brown sugar with strawberries, which mm. is probably the most unhealthy thing. It's just me, it's true. you know, packing brown sugar onto a strawberry. But you can make these nice little coated strawberries, and then you can serve them to your kids or eat them yourself. And it makes it really nice, easy on the go. And the strawberries and natural moisture that's on the outside just picks up the yogurt powder, and you can eat them like, right like that. You get that creaminess without having to mm. dip it in, you know, the fresh yogurt itself. This is really nice. It is and it's nice. really fun for kids because they like to do stuff themselves. Yes. So if you put that out, it's way healthier than the bowl of brown sugar I used to eat. So <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, uh, it's a fun thing and they look great too. So even if you were to garnish something with this, let's say if you garnished uh, a cheesecake with this or something like that, you get that extra creaminess and it looks completely different than anything you've ever seen. Yeah. You can like dust it on like powdered sugar too, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the yogurt powder, it's a pretty simple ingredient, I think, compared to a lot of what we cover here on WTF because it's not you know, a functional ingredient, but it's still pretty versatile in terms of the fact that you can incorporate it into like sweet dishes, savory dishes, anywhere where you might think you want a little bit of that yogurt flavor, but mm -hmm. without adding the moisture. And that's kind of a lot of the key benefits to it. Is there anything else that we want to leave people with? No, but these recipes will all be on the blog. You can find mm -hmm. the links in the description below. Uh, this recipe for the uh, popsicles, the smoothie pops, whatever we're calling them, you can change out the fruit and you can make it to whatever fruit you want. The ratios will work, the yogurt powder will work. So if you wanted to make a mango one, a banana one, you can really switch up the flavors and, and make it to your liking. So that's really cool and it's such a simple uh, recipe that you can make them within a few hours and you can have them on one of these hot summer days. Yeah, and if you do come up with your own application of it, please you know tag us on your post, your social media, mm -hmm. Leave it in the comments below. We love to see what people came up with. It's always super fun and it gives us new ideas for what we can do in the kitchen as well. So from here in the Modernist Pantry Test Kitchen, I'm Janie Wang. And I'm Scott Guerin. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. And turn that bell on because it notifies you when we drop a new video. If you like any of today's recipes, go to blog.modernistpantry.com. There you'll find recipes, ask a chefs, and tips and tricks, and more. And if you have a friend who you think would like this video, share it with them. And to get any of these great ingredients, just go to our website, www.modernistpantry.com. And until next time, we'll be here in the test kitchen, helping you create memorable and magical experiences. <laughs>